What is up, YouTube? Good again here, back at it with another My League rebuild, and today we are doing the Houston Rockets LeBron rebuild here. Uh, you guys, I've seen a couple of comments here and there that want this rebuild done, but before that, I mean, I tried this already, and I failed because I forgot to, I, I clicked start today, obviously, but uh, it doesn't give you the option right away to download a draft class. So for those that want to download draft class and start today, I've seen the question come up. Go ahead and go into scouting, hit prospect scouting. You just click on whatever made up a rookie that they got here and you go to download, load, download draft class. And then here you see everybody, the community who has made a draft class. Uh, it, uh, it's titled whatever year. I usually pick NBA 2K creations because that's just the one that has the most downloads and that's the one I've been using consistently. So NBA 2K Creations for 2018, 2019, and 2020 are the ones that I use. I usually don't download after that because I by then I already won a championship or something. So 2018, we retrieve it. Uh, this one, it says, would you like storylines to be generated? And then it, it affects the ratings uh, and attributes of players. I just click no all the time, so I just leave it. I let it be how it is. And there you guys have it. This is how you download that. Do You see DeAndre Ayton, Luka Doncic, Michael Porter Jr., Marvin Bagley, all that. But let's go get to this rebuild, guys. Uh, believe it or not, uh, I actually I actually made this happen. But the way that I made this happen is I went to Cleveland. I didn't bring him right to the team. I'm, I just I signed him. I legit signed him, but I changed his loyalty to zero. Why? Because if I don't do that, he usually stays with uh, with Cleveland. He stays with Cleveland right here. I go. I went to his loyalty. Actually, I don't have to go all the way that way. I could just go straight to zero. Put it on zero, and now he values winning a lot more, and we can go ahead and try to sign him. The only way that I did make it happen and signed him is uh, I traded away everybody. Everybody. Well, I was allowed to keep Capella and Chris Paul, and obviously James Harden's already on contract, so it was them and LeBron. Then I don't know. And then I noticed that I didn't download the draft class, so I kind of brain farted on that again. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see if I could do it, replicate it same way as I did. We had a bunch of first rounders because we traded everybody for essentially nothing. No players back, we just wanted to make cap space. And we'll see if we could repeat that again. First things first, oh, and before I had some commentary about uh, how cool it would be if, if for some reason the Banana Boat crew went to Houston. Uh, it could happen. If Chris Paul takes a pay cut, LeBron takes a pay cut, Carmelo just signs on like a, I don't know if he'd sign on a veteran minimum, but Dwayne Wade might. Dwayne Wade could sign on a veteran minimum. But anyways, let's go ahead and make this cap space, see if we could replicate it. Uh, right here, it was the same thing. Same thing when I was recording earlier. Ryan Anderson for a first rounder from Indiana. And oh, I forgot. I, I entered the draft. I didn't mean to. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and trade everybody, even Eric Gordon, to try to make cap space for us to sign uh, these guys back. San Antonio for Nene, they want to give us a 2019 first rounder and a second rounder. Go ahead, and we're just going to keep doing this for every single player on the team, uh, besides, obviously, James Harden. Lottery protected, OKC Thunder pick, and that's where we're going to send PJ Tucker. I'll see you later, buddy. Uh, thanks for everything you did. He was balling. He was getting boards like crazy. And that's the only offer I'm getting from the Spurs. A second rounder. Bring him. Bring him. Bring all the picks to me. Bring all the picks to me. Kyle Singler. I don't want no Kyle Singler. Nobody wants. <laughs> um, I guess I'll bring in Kyle Singler for now. But then I'll just trade him right away. I don't know what the point of that was. But let's see if we. Psst, I don't understand. There we go. Now we'll get picks here. Okay. That's, that's cool with me. Uh, he's going back to OKC. We get two second rounders. Well, technically one because we're trading one away. And now we still got Eric Gordon to trade for some type of cap space. Do we make Milwaukee pretty great? We could maybe keep Thoughtmaker off the bench. I don't think so, though. Honestly, I don't think so. We just need to trade everything. Everything. A first rounder from San Antonio and Pau Gasol. Well, wait. We'll get out of this draft. I didn't mean to join the draft. Uh, so, wait. No, I didn't want to do that either. Just get me out of here. And usually when I see this, LeBron has accepted his player option. And this time he's declined. Why? Because we moved his loyalty to zero. Now, what's important, he has an offer. It, it It's at 100. Dang, dude. Last time when I did this and I brain farted and I didn't plug in the 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 draft class, it was at 99. So maybe he says yes to me. We are up there. Okay, we are the number one option right now. We're going to give him that. And Chris Paul's here. As long as Chris Paul doesn't get a contract quite yet, we can bring him back for $30 million, not that 33 that he's expecting. Uh, but Capella obviously is going to get an offer right away. 
Uh, but we have to renounce his... We have to renounce Chris Paul's rights to do this. We did it last time, and it worked. Uh, cap hold, leave it there. Uh, everybody else, obviously, renounce right. LeBron, we can't do it right away, so that's why we have to renounce Chris Paul's rights. Agree to LeBron James and hope nobody signs Chris Paul. So far, zero offers to Chris Paul. Click Appella's ready to accept an offer uh, over the salary cap limit. Okay, so that's why we needed to trade away Eric Gordon for anything. Give us some first rounders. Dallas Mavericks willing to give us a 2020 first round unprotected and a 2021 unprotected for Eric Gordon straight up. That is sounds like a deal to me. So now we should have the money to sign Capella and LeBron James. Chris Paul still without an offer and we should have around 30 million to offer him. That's all we could. Hello? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. 29.52. We give him a no trade clause. We give him a player option and he should say yes to our team. Uh, hopefully hopefully Chris Paul please there we go he does say yes to us and we have the four that we need on the team and as I was saying in the last rebuild that I couldn't show you guys because I failed at it because I didn't import the rookies we were I was thinking of trading Capella because it's just you know he's an asset that we could trade away and get a couple more pieces because we don't have money to sign anybody or anything See, we could get uh, Chris Middleton in here. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't want him, but you know, we could go in here and find something, something better. Uh, get a couple pieces instead of just having one guy in Clint. Player progression. Clearly, nobody is progressing. We signed everybody on minimums besides Derrick Rose. I think I'm gonna switch Derrick Rose to a shooting guard. Have him go in there and just just score. Just do what you do. Score. And that's what we're going to have him do. Nawab, I'm probably going to switch to small forward. Our bench is horrendous. Uh, Luke, Richard, Mbamute, we signed. And he went down four. That's the guy that went down four. Our big four, I guess, is Capella, Chris Paul, James Harden, and James. Uh, so that Capella, tr keep trading Capella might be the move. Start McGee at center. Uh, hopefully cover up his mistakes by having Chris Paul Harden and James do all the work. All right, guys. So this would be the roster if we went with it right away. Paul Harden, James, Maxi Kleber, Clint Capella. And then McGee as our sixth man at center. Nawaba, Omri Caspi, TJ McConnell. Now, TJ McConnell can ball. So him ha coming off the bench as a point guard, not bad. I'm going to give no minutes to Caspi. He's a shooter off the bench. Would, could be clutch. But I'm going to give Rose minutes. I'm going to give Rose minutes. I just want him. I'm a Derrick Rose fan. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let's make him the sixth man. Let's make him the sixth man. Derrick Rose. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't cost us to lose. But uh, that's what we're going to go with. Max, he should not be starting. That's my thought process right now. Maybe like Caspi at small forward. Or we could start defensively. We could start the... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want to do. Nawaba, 6'4". He's undersized, but he gets rebounds and he plays defense. Cover up his mistakes by having all these stars. And that's what we'll go with. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot better. Give two more minutes to Capella. This is what we're going with. Chris Paul at the one. Harden at the two. Nawaba at the three. LeBron James at the four. Capella at the five. Derrick Rose, sixth man. McGee, seventh. Caspi, eighth. And McConnell, ninth. At the end of our first season, guys, I don't think we don't, we didn't, well, we didn't, we don't need a bench. We don't need a bench when we have uh, Chris Paul, LeBron, uh, James Harden. And obviously, LeBron still wins MVP with the loaded team. Well, at least that loaded starters. LeBron still gets 26 points. Almost 10 assists and 8 rebounds. Great shooting numbers. Very great shooting numbers. Marvin wins Rookie of the Year. Six man goes to Larry Nance Jr. DeAndre Jordan, defensive player. Royce O'Neal, most improved. And Dwayne Casey, 63 and 19, coach of the year. Could have gone to Mike D'Antoni. Could have gone to Mike D'Antoni. We were 63 and 19 as well. Harden, all NBA first team. LeBron, all NBA first team. And Chris Paul, all NBA third team. So our whole starting three our big three make all nba teams all defensive first team for chris paul as well his defense has not uh taken a step back it looks like and uh, we are beasts we are beasts we should win best record in the west and tied with toronto for the best record in the entire nba player stats you guys saw lebron's here is james harden taking a step back as the second oh he's not really a second option it's just happened that lebron have scored two more points a game than him so 24 Five rebounds, 8.8 .8 assists. I wonder, I'm, I'm sure LeBron still touches the ball more. So, yeah, probably a second option in James Harden. Uh, and beastly numbers. 
beastly numbers that's why they both made all nba first team 24 5 and 8 with lebron on the team he doesn't score his 30 points he doesn't need to with lebron chris paul capella 11 and 10 with two blocks obviously his defense is great but um could we get a guy that can we get a couple more pieces instead of him that could you know improve our team better make our team even more insane derrick rose 11 off the bench let's go with three assists as well that's all i need him to do score score and he's doing it efficiently do we win a championship in year number one do we need the bench for the playoffs we gotta see go ahead simulate game number one simulate this entire series and hopefully we 4-0 some teams we get our chemistry good we 4-0 some teams or we lose to an eighth seeded portland trailblazer team oh my gosh we might need a bench we might need a bench, ladies and gentlemen. We do get past them, but it was seven games. We're up against the San Antonio Spurs. My, they got Dwayne Wade? No, Wade. You come to our team, man. Mohamed Bamba off the bat. Okay, they got a solid. They got a decent team. They got a decent team. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, dude, what does he do? What does he do against LeBron James? Does he switch to the four? Because LeBron's playing the four for me, so LaMarcus might have a mismatch here on the perimeter. He comes out, guards him in the perimeter. We'll blow by you, LaMarcus. Blow by you, LaMarcus. 4-2. We're up against Golden State. Let's go ahead and change our defensive settings. Go ahead. Go ahead and put play, uh, limit perimeter shots and play physical. We got to get in their faces. We got to see if we can get past this big four. We essentially have our own big four. And it might not be enough. It might not be enough. I'm not entirely sure. We do we obviously both have ridiculous offenses. Seven game series. We made it. Let's go. This one should be a lot easier. John Wall, Bradley Beal, Darius Miller, Ersan Ilyasova, Marcin Gort. Yes, this should be a lot easier. But first, let's go let, look at our playoff statistics for this first season. Harden. Wait, yeah? Playoffs? Yeah. Harden is the leading scorer in these playoffs. Then LeBron, Chris Paul, Capella, Derrick Rose, 12 points a game. Let's go. D. Rose doing work. JaVale's doing work as well with 10, 10 and 5. They shouldn't even stand a chance. I don't even know how they made it this far. 48 wins to our 63. Yeah. No, thank you. We win in the first season. We won with this team. Rit uh, we lost a lot in these playoffs. Might be because it's the West. But uh, we still... Okay. Final 7B goes to James Harden. LeBron's wishes in his ending of his career is that he is more of an off-ball player. He doesn't want to handle all the responsibility all the time. Uh, <laughs> he wants some damn help. That's what he has stated that he wants at the end of his career. So hopefully that happens for him. But uh, right now, it is happening for him. We're going to go ahead and trade Clint Capella. We already won with this team. I'm going to see if by trading Clint Capella, it, it, it improves us. Obviously, we could try to just keep winning. Try to sign minimum players year after year. But... I'm going to see what we can get for Clint. Also, we have a ridiculous amount of, of first rounders, I think. I mean, for this draft. So actually, the way we get our bench might be through the draft. A, a 20th pick, 25th pick, and a 30th pick. Do we move those up? Do we try to move these up somehow? How insane would that be? With the ridiculous amount of picks that we have, we could go ahead and get the 8th pick from Brooklyn. I'm going to try to finesse them even more. Get rid of that. We'll give you the 20th. We'll give you the 25th. What do you say for that? They say no. And we'll give you another pick, but we'll give you second rounders instead this time. Second rounders, you give us the eighth overall pick. What do you say, Brooklyn? You say yeah. Oh, they did say yes. Let's go. Now let's move up to number six, which is the Sacramento pick, but Boston owns. So let's see what we need to two second rounders for the sixth. Let's go. We're going to get the first overall pick, and we're going to just keep this this super team going. This ultra team, it's, it's, it's gone from super to ultra. Fifth pick from the Hawks. Let's go. Uh, what do they want? They want a first rounder. Dallas swap best. Okay. We still get the pick. We still get a pick. So we're essentially just swapping. Um, now we have the fifth overall pick. Third pick for our fifth pick. What do you want in return? You want a 2020 unprotected Houston. And we get a second rounder from you this season as well. So, okay. Okay. I'm cool with it. Dallas has the first overall pick. We have the third. They want their assets. We'll give you a second rounder. We'll give you another second rounder. And then we'll give you picks in 2022. What do you say for that? 2022 and a 2021. They agreed. We have the first overall pick. And we essentially still have picks for the future, too. We have this year's first overall pick. The Mavericks next year unprotected pick. Uh, wait, the Mavericks were the number one pick? What? And we still have the Mavericks next year's pick. And then we still have a top three protected Pacer pick. And then we have... So two 
picks next season and then we have a pick right after that swap best though with the hawks so uh the hawks still might suck that season so we still might have a decent lottery pick this is insane technically we need a power forward so i think i'm gonna go with zion williamson of course i'd like to bring in rj barrett move him to small forward and since he has the size i think he's six 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 what is what six seven listed height on this thing i don't know how tall he is in real life they might have this wrong i'm not entirely sure i don't follow these high school guys or i guess college guys now they're going into college uh but zion williamson gonna go ahead and draft him plug him in right at power forward he fits the small ball stuff he's ridiculously athletic and he's gonna be playing with james harden chris paul so it's not like he has to be amazing year one but we got ourselves a nice plug-in player with zion player progression lebron starts going down season 96 now chris paul goes down one as well capella uh, why are you going down you're gonna be traded capella Williamson, obviously, we just uh, drafted with the number one overall pick. Alec Burks, we signed for a cheap enough contract. I think two years, six million. Yeah, 6.15. Tyler Zeller, same super cheap contract. Tyler Zeller for backup center or whatever. Same with Kufus. I don't know why it says they went up. I don't think they did. McGee, so we have three centers. They're not all going to get minutes. Derek Rose, it says he went up to a 75, but that's because we switched him to shooting guard. He's probably not going to get minutes this time. Sorry, D. Rose, but Burks is in town now. He's going to be the shooting guard, the backup shooting guard. Solinger is going to switch him to power forward. I know he goes up at power forward. He's 6'9". Well, um, uh, we'll, we'll play him at power forward, and we'll see how things go. But we're also going to trade Capella. Do we need to? Probably not. But I'm going to see what I can get. A couple players, hopefully, here and there. Another uh, plug-in center. or uh, We'll see. We'll see. I'm bringing in TJ Warren and Isaiah Thomas for Clint Capella. We're not going to have a center. Not a good one at that. So maybe we'll draft one in the draft. Hopefully there's one. Hopefully there is one coming up. But Kufus or McGee will play. And Clint Capella is going to go. Isaiah Thomas is going to be coming off my bench with TJ Warren as well. Our bench is going to look insane. Our center spot, not so much. I was going to switch Selinger to power forward. But it really doesn't matter. Rose not getting any minutes. This is the roster that we're going with for this season. We might do worse. But we have two 80s off our bench, and TJ Warren will be coming off the bench for a couple more seasons as well with us. Do we have to worry about signing anybody back? Nope. No. No. Zion Williamson here for a few seasons. So we all we got to worry about next offseason is a center. And maybe we could get one in the draft. I don't know what the 2020 draft is looking like. Uh, so we'll see. When, when the time gets here, we're going to work on our chemistry. And uh, hopefully with a rookie and a 77 Kufis... We still win a lot of games. At the end of the second season, LeBron's still the king. Uh, I think we won less games. Zion Williamson wins Rookie of the Year. Jeremy Lin, sixth man. Defensive player goes to Drummond. Miles Bridges, most improved. Mike D'Antoni gets Coach of the Year. LeBron, obviously, All-NBA first team. Harden gets All-NBA second team this time, but no Chris Paul anymore. Maybe a defensive team? Nope. Whoa, he does make a defensive second team. Feels good. We did finish number one in the Western Conference and number one in the entire NBA. Number one team is 49 and 33 in the East. What? Here are your statistics. James Harden is the leading scorer for this season. Then and you saw LeBron James. He's the dang MVP of the league. Chris Paul, 15 and 9 assists. We have three guys getting 9 assists. One of them getting 10, pretty much. What? First matchup is against Portland. They have Lillard, McCullough, Maurice Harkless. Maja. Okay, yeah, I think uh, they got a nice one-two punch. But can they stand? Can they withstand three, uh, prop, three Hall of Famers? Three Hall of Famers. And then... Oh, they got four, they got four old we've got a better start than last season in these playoffs that is the good thing 97 percent chemistry who do the phoenix suns have devin booker josh jackson marvin clink up oh we gave him clint oh their team's looking mighty nice mighty nice they look nice but i don't think it's enough to go up against us this season clint capella probably trying to get some revenge but he's not an offensive beast uh, so let's see if we get past these Golden State Warriors again as well. And we are doing way better in these playoffs than we did last time. We only dropped one game. The chemistry is there now, and we're just taking over the league. I don't know who Milwaukee has. Obviously, they have Giannis, but I don't think it's enough, especially since they won 49 games. We, oh my gosh. Okay, that was the toughest opponent. We actually almost lost, but not this time. Holy crap. LeBron James, finals MVP. 
fixing trying to fix his finals record here in houston we're gonna go ahead and go one more season see how ridiculous we can make this team and the mavericks sucked we have th we had their pick unprotected we have the fifth pick we have the 20th pick uh i don't know who's in this draft but uh we're, we're pretty set orlando owns the first overall pick we're gonna see if we could trade from the fifth to the first give them all these picks that they want and there we go we don't have any more picks but i don't plan on going past this year so we're gonna go ahead and draft the best big man that's in the draft i don't know who it is and uh, we'll just get him another year another uh decline for james harden lebron james chris paul actually stays the same this time tj warren doesn't do anything zion goes up too we drafted james wiseman looks like he's the number one uh player in his draft class so and he's a 79 in this draft class that I downloaded. Alec Burke's still here. Plumley we signed for a 5.7 million. That's the the most that we could offer a player, I believe. So we got him as a backup center. Uh, Wiseman is gonna start at center. He is 6'11. He has the size. Uh, and then Jerry and Grant minimum backup point guard tj mcconnell back again uh, at, uh for the minimum as well here we go let's see if we can make it a three-peat the warrior killers right here chris paul james harden lebron james zion williams so we got back to back first overall pick guys <laughs> the team this this nba would be so broken zion at the four james wiseman at our five since he does have the size for it i don't know if he's uh strong enough uh, at 225 but uh he should be fine tj warren at your sixth man plumley our seventh burks our eighth and tj mcconnell our ninth this team would be so ridiculous let's go ahead and get a three p once again we win over 60 uh games but i believe the first season was the best the second season we won 60 and then this season we won 61 this time james harden wins the mvp not lebron each one taft rookie of the year jeremy lynn sixth man again Giannis. Defensive player, Lonzo Ball, most improved. Mike D'Antoni, once again, coach of the year. So back-to-back -back coach of the years for our guy. James Harden, All-NBA first team once again. LeBron James, All-NBA first team. Uh, doesn't 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 stop being an All-NBA team. And where is Chris Paul? Chris Paul, All-NBA third. No defensive team for Chris Paul this time. But James Wiseman, our rookie, all-rookie first team. For two seasons in a row, James Harden has been the leading scorer. He's getting 9.8 assists this time. He got 8.8 last time. He switched it with LeBron because LeBron was getting 9.8 last season. Uh, Chris Paul still 9.7, 15, 9.7, 2.3 steals, uh, 4.6 4 rebounds. How, he's the, how he doesn't make an all-defensive team, I don't know. Zion, 15 a game with 7 boards. TJ Warren off the bench, 10. Our starter, plug-in center, our rookie who is most likely going to be a beast, 10 points 7.8 boards 1.9 assist and almost two blocks a game so i'm cool with that six points off the bench for burks plumley six points as well tj mcconnell four jerry and grant two points as our backup point guard no mcconnell's getting our backup point guard minutes let's go see if we get this 3p just gonna roll through these playoffs because that's just what i want to do uh we are a 61 and 21 team the best team in the west i think we're the best team in the entire nba we 4 0 our first opponents we're up against Kawhi Leonard once again do we make it past them though oh gosh oh gosh not like this please just give us uh, these wins we are the warrior killers. We are the super team, uh, the ultra team of the NBA right now. Actually, not really because we got a lot of old guys. We're up against Minnesota now, and we're actually destroying everybody. So, yeah. We 4-1 uh, our last two opponents. We're up against the Boston Celtics. I'm, I'm going to check Kyrie, Jalen, Jason, Robert Williams, Dante Kane, whoever that is, Gordon Hayward. Off the bench, just put Tatum at the four or something. I don't know. I don't know, but obviously they have a monstrous bench if you have a 91 and an 85 coming off the bench and an 82 and an 80. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Uh, 47 and 35 is what they finished, or we, this might be the easiest opponents besides our first ones. W okay. I thought it was going to be difficult. We destroyed them. James Harden, finals MVP. I think he got two. We had a plethora of first rounders that allowed us to have the number one pick in two seasons back to back. We got Zion Williamson and we got James Wiseman, two big men of the future. But anyways, guys, abuse that like button, smash it, smash it, smash it. Drop a like down below as well. It really does help the channel grow like you don't even know. Bars. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.